Hey, this is a reverse green triangle trick that I really like, and I'll show you what it looks like. Now that was actually two variations of this trick. We're gonna start with just talking about this variation, this kind of original mist kind of green triangle or like reverse green triangle, which looks like this. So the way I first came up with this trick was I was trying to figure out how to do a green triangle where I didn't have to change the direction. Now normally green triangle looks like this. This is kind of how most green triangles look. And what was occurring to me was I really like doing stuff straight from a trapeze, but if I wanted to go straight from a trapeze, I had to stop and change the direction of the green triangle to get into the green triangle. And so I tried to figure out how could I get into a green triangle just from the breakaway throw. And that's where we are here. So this is what this trick's gonna look like. You're gonna make a C shape with your hand. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your thumb and your two middle fingers, your middle finger and your ring finger. You're gonna kind of do a trapeze around those objects, around your thumb and two middle fingers. But you're gonna miss. The trapeze is actually gonna be in front. The yo-yo is gonna go behind the string. So you can kind of see that the string is in front. So I do that, that C shape, I go around and I miss. And to make that miss a little easier, I just bring this hand forward. My throw hand goes forward a little bit. And then what you're gonna do is you can kind of see this point where the strings intersect here. What you want is for the yo-yo to go around and hook back up here, and it'll create that kind of little bucket or triangle. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do that, that C shape, set it up, and then I turn my, my left hand, my, my free hand, I turn it this way, and I'm gonna give the yo-yo a hop, and I actually bring this hand forward too. So what I'm actually doing is I'm creating a perpendicular line between my right and left hand. So a line here, even though the yo-yo is traveling on this direction. So miss, create that bucket, and hop. And if I kind of pull a little bit, you can see that's how the triangle looks. When you land in the triangle, you hop the yo-yo forward, just hop it off the string forward, and you're out. Now there's a, a couple things going on here, uh, kind of more subtle motions. One is you'll see, um, I don't pause <laughs> when I do this, I don't pause. What, what I try to do is I try to let that continuation of that motion go around. So the yo-yo is always gonna be going around in this circle. When you're first learning this trick, you might actually get into this point and then try to reverse. Cause, cause that's just, I think the way your brains works uh, used to kind of like all the other green triangles. But for this one, you want to do two circles. We're doing two continuous circles and land in there. And then the other thing you might notice that I give this hand a hop. What I'm trying to do is when the yo-yo is up to my side, I try to pull it linearly, like just like, or horizontal across and let it catch in that bucket. So it's not a subtle motion. So like I said, I'm going to let the yo-yo continue in that circle, and the second time it gets around and I hear, I give it a tug, and I get it to try to give it travel right across, and I actually want it to hit the string right under my thumb. The other thing that's happening is you see how I'm always kind of ending up cross-armed with my throw hand on top of my free hand? Well, that's because when I'm bringing this hand forward, I'm, again, I'm bringing this hand forward and I'm turning this hand sideways, both of which I'm trying to create uh, perpendicular lines to the direction that I'm flowing. I'm trying to create perpendicular lines. Well, when I'm doing that, 
it's easy to just kind of continue forward. So, so if you're wondering why you're kind of ending up uh, here, for instance, it's probably because you know you could bring your hand forward, and if you do bring your hand forward, then you'll end up in you know kind of like that little cross arms motion. This hand's going to turn this way. My left hand turns the left. My right hand comes forward. So I'm kind of like, if I'm holding a stick, I'm kind of changing that direction. But the yo-yo is staying on that breakaway pattern. When you catch it here, like I said, you can hop it forward. Um, the thing I like to do when I catch it is bring it around. So I've actually crisscrossed my arms. And so when you do that all together, it just kind of goes with that flow. It kind of brings one, two, three, you know, kind of loops and you end up in this really bizarre looking thing. And that is this triangle. <laughs> I keep saying this triangle because the triangle is not aimed yet. I've been doing this trick for 16 years or so. I, I, I'm not quite sure since I lived in St. Louis, I know that. Uh, and so I just never taught this trick to anyone. Uh, today I taught it during the UIP yo-yo club that I do for my Patreon sponsors. And in doing so, I was like, hey, I need a name for this, so I'm going to do a name this trick contest. And the winner of this contest is going to win a yo-yo. And I'm just going to go ahead and say that yo-yo is going to be one of these Moon Rock White Icarus. So uh, this is for my Patreon backers. Uh, if you're not on Patreon, go to drpopular.com slash docpop and find this post and leave a suggestion for what you think this trick should be called. And hey, you know, if, uh, <laughs> if you're not a Patreon backer, you still get to enjoy these tutorials for free, so no big deal. But if you want to enter the contest, then sign up on Patreon. Variation. This triangle was inspired by the same conundrum. Can I get into a triangle from a breakaway without changing the direction of the string? And it is very similar to the first version uh, that I taught. Um, but this version, you go, you make the C shape and you go, behind the string and I kind of turn my body, I'm right-handed, I turn my body to the left and I do that. Um, the variation is actually all inverted. So it's gonna be the same C shape, but it's gonna go in front of the string. And this time I turn my body, again, I'm right-handed, I'm gonna turn my body to the right. And now I've got that same intersection here and I'm gonna try to do that. So for this variation, C shape, go in front, this string is behind, turn your body, and you know, with this one, we turned our body here. Here, we're going to turn your body and you're gonna to try to hop the yo-yo and land it again. You wanna to try to catch it right on that, that, that thumb, right under the thumb. So when it does, you've got a trapeze or a triangle. And with this one, you want to hop the yo-yo backwards to get out. The first one we did you hop forward, this one you hop backwards. So if you wanted to do those two tricks together, you're gonna to start with this variation of the backwards triangle. Uh, you're gonna continue it over, and then you're gonna dismount and try doing this variation. So let's see if we can do that. So that's the unnamed backwards triangle. Uh, if you're a Patreon backer, go to patreon.com slash docpop and leave your suggestion for what you think this move should be called. We're really focusing on just the original version of this, but you know, if it's applicable, I'll you know share the name with both. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial did you well. Uh, I wanna say a huge shout out to my sponsors over on Patreon, uh, including Taka from Spin Gear and John Anderson and the rest of it, I think I have 96 other backers over on patreon.com slash docpop. Uh, thanks for supporting the show and thanks for uh, joining the UIP today and helping me workshop the tutorial for this trick. I think that was a lot of uh, fun hanging out with you all and hearing your suggestions on how to teach that backward triangle. <laughs> we'll see you later.